from Denver, Colorado, we have another great game for you today. Thanks for joining us. These two teams are ready to go, and it should be a great one as the Bears get set to take on the Broncos. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. You talk about a quarterback who can lead his team to victory. This guy has all the tools you look for. Great arm, pocket presence, and the ability to hit a receiver anywhere on the field. There's not too many like this guy. And we could see him put up big numbers in this one. Ron Smith makes a great target for him every game. I think most people in the league like to think that he's deceptively fast. That allows him to sneak past the defense for big games. And whether or not he'll be able to against this defense is something we'll be paying a lot of attention to. And you can tell that defense is fired up and ready to go. I don't think we should keep him waiting any longer. Much anticipated game ready to begin as we're lined up for the kickoff. Number four will be kicking off. Kicking off to start the game. Short kick off. From the 15. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. Our EA Sports coach close up features two very unique coaches. Dick Jerron likes to run a patient ball control offensive scheme that puts emphasis on a grinding running game. He likes to control the clock and dictate the pace relying on his defense to shut down the opposing team. Going to the left. Gain of about five. Continue looking at our EA Sports coach close up with Broncos head coach Mike Shanahan clearly now after eight years in Denver regarded as one of the very finest coaches not only in football today but of all time. Thomas in the backfield. Stewart sends a man in motion. Gets the toss to the right. About a one yard loss. What have you heard, Melissa? I caught up with Coach Shanahan to get his pregame thoughts, and he said the main goal of his defense in this one is to provide an excellent pass rush and also possibly force a couple of turnovers and give his offense some good field position to work with. Al? Thanks, Melissa. Good idea bringing the blitz. That was a heck of a play. I think he felt the rush coming. He just couldn't get out of there quickly enough. going three and out. Here's the punt. Could be the return here. What a collision. Watch here as he's able to avoid the blocker and get in there and make the tackle. Now that's how you're supposed to play. Don't stop. Don't go until you reach the ball carrier. Clinton Portis is one of the best backs in the league, John. Yeah, he's one of those big play guys that you always have to account for in every play. You leave him alone one time and boom, he'll burn you. It off. Kept it on the ground, picks up about seven. Fortis, the lone back, tucks it away. Fumble. The wet conditions probably have a lot to do with that fumble, John. And it's raining out there like it is in this one. You got to be sure you protect the ball. Guys are coming in for the tackle, and they're always looking for the strip, looking to knock that thing out of there. Stewart sends a man in motion. Under pressure, gets rid of it. Interception. He showed tremendous ability. He got up there for the interception. He waited, 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 and waited. He jumped up there and just stole that pass. Hey. 
Following the interception, it's now first Fuck and ten. Only one man back. They give it to the halfback. Only a yard by the halfback. On the carry, one yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 42-yard line. Get out of here! Hand it off. Great fake with the pass. Intercepted. John, it looked like that was going to be a turnover. I bet you as soon as he let that go, he was wishing that he could have it back, because that could easily have been an interception. And they'll face a long third down here. The Broncos using motion, closing in right in stride. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. This is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Set. Pressure, rolling, and it's complete. Bummer. Did a good job finding his tight end on that play. I'll tell you, it looked like the defense thought the running back had the ball coming through the hole. When you talk about selling a play fake, that's just the kind of thing they're talking about. About a yard to go. Didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep him off balance while trying to draw him offside. The Bears come out in a nickel pack. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Portis wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. This will be a long field goal attempt, about a 49 yard. And it's on its way. The field goal attempt is good. Number four. In to kick this one off. Number 27, back to return. Nice distance. From the 11-yard line. Well, the last time they had the ball, they turned it over on an interception. Let's see what happens here. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 25. He tucks it away. Gain of a couple in that carry. With the carry, gain of two on the play. The Broncos come out in a nickel pack. Ball on the 28-yard line. Got him, got him. You see, set. Hut, come out. Hut, he can left. Hut. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Hmm. What happened there, John? The receiver just dropped it. I was watching him in practice the other day, and he didn't miss a ball. Looks like he just took his eye off that one. They need seven. Ball on their own 28. I saw you. Stay up, you. Booker, the man in motion. With the pass. 
Pass was incomplete. Fourth down. Upcoming after that incomplete pass. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Here's the kick. The return is setting up nicely, and he has room to run with it. It's the toss to the left. Breaks free. The 40. The 40. The 30. He's finally brought down at the 22 yard line. When you're talking about taking your man out of the play, this is what you're talking about. You know, this is the kind of block that guys dream about. I mean, he just unloads on that guy. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Portis is the deep back. The Broncos using motion. Tosses it right. Might have lost a step on the toss. Couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. So we've reached the end of the first quarter. We've got a close one underway with the Broncos ahead of the Bears. 3-0. The teams have switched sides, and we'll start the second quarter. Here is a third and long situation. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Steps up into the pocket. He finds his man. Touchdown, Denver. He stepped up, made a terrific throw, and it went for the touchdown. That's just great communication between the quarterback and his receiver. Elam comes in to attempt the point after. And it's up. And he picks on the extra point. Big drive right there, John. And that defense is really struggling now to make plays. The offense seems to have their number out there. They need to rethink their strategy on defense. Maybe clips a little more trying to create some additional pressure. They have to find a way to get this offense out of their rhythm. Kickoff Denver team lines up. Lined up for the kickoff. Number 27, back to return. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. From the nine. Chicago down by two touchdowns. Takes over on offense. On the return. He'll pass on first down. A lot of room to work with. The 30. Here's what happened. You get a guy who can move around back there. The defense gets busy covering everyone, and they forget about the quarterback. He gets past that marker and picks up a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. 
Under pressure. Gets rid of it. Thrown behind, but caught. Clark was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. He has room. Can't bring it down. Watch. Now the key to this first down was the fact that the defense lost containment on the quarterback. He's out there running around. And that time, he got him a first down. Only one man in the backfield. Ball on the 37-yard line. Gives the ball. Away. Not much there. Maybe a yard. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Stewart gains the defense from the gun. Throwing. This pass is incomplete. That pass was right there, but he was unable to hang on. That's the old rule. If you get your hands on it, you got to catch it. The Bears line up in the shotgun. Ball on the 37-yard line. Pressure. Gets rid of it. And the catch is made. Down he goes. At the 19. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. We're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. They're in the red zone. Hand off to the tailback. Four yard gain there. With the carry. Gain of four on the play. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 14 yard line. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Rowing. Room to run. Again and again, it's another first down. Yeah, and this offense has really impressed me on this drive. They've been moving the ball very methodically, and they're getting closer and closer to the end zone. So it's first and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Steps up, throws it. Great pass. Touchdown, Bears. Quick connection for the score. And that's a deal where the quarterback saw his opportunity, and he wasn't going to let it get away. He threw it in there in a hurry. The kicker lines up for the point after. And it's on its way, and he picks on the extra point. That last drive, John, went for a touchdown with some excellent play call. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was the offensive line. They did a good job controlling the line of scrimmage, keeping their quarterback healthy and on his feet. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. Edinger is back and ready to put this one in the air. 22, back deep to return. Sends it soon. From the seven-yard line. They scored a touchdown on their last drive, utilizing the running game to move the ball against this defense. And we'll probably see the same kind of thing here as they take over again. First down. Under pressure. Rowing. A little off target, but caught. He jumped up at the perfect moment and made the reception. Yeah, that guy's got some vertical leap. He must have played some basketball somewhere along the line. A little over four to go.
Second and four. Ball on the 25-yard line. Penalty marker down on the field. Dead ball. One start on the offense. Early movement there. The offense needs to do a better job focusing. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 20. Let's go. Come on. Andy Stump at the 21. Not much there. Maybe a yard. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Plum sets up, dropping back, closing in. This one falls incomplete. They almost got to him for the sack. Pressure can really mess up the timing of a play. That pass was incomplete because the quarterback had to get rid of it before he wanted to. Number four lines up in the backfield for the punt. Number 81 sets up to run back the punt. From the 38. Out of the gun. Dropping back the pass on first down. It's rid of it. The pass falls incomplete. Watch here. He's trying to make the catch, but as he's about to bring it in, he takes a big shot from the defender, and that forces him to drop the pass. They'll need a good pickup here to make their way further downfield, or they'll have to face a third down situation. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. Only one man back. Guns it out to the way. This one falls incomplete. That looked like a catch until he got nailed. Yeah, so good it knocked the ball right out of his hands. It's third and long now, and the defense can afford to back off and play it soft. Stewart sets up. Dropping back with the throw. The pass is picked off. Spencer comes up with the big interception. This guy's a great defender. He just always seems to be in the right place at the right time. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. The Broncos line up in a five receiver set this time. Passing on first down. Rowan, great throw. No problem picking up the first. Yeah, you know, we're talking about putting a ball on a guy. The quarterback put that ball on the receiver perfectly. Being in range like this, they probably want to conserve some time so they can get a score. They don't want to let the other guys have much time to do anything. Portis was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back to pass. This might be a place where they come out in a passing formation, but actually run the ball to catch them off guard. Only one man in the backfield. Trailer brings him down at the 31. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. There's no need for the quarterback to force any throw. There's a whole second half to play, and they don't want to be making any mistakes. Right. 
Let's go. Come on. They're blitzing with the pass. The perfect throw. Denver will call a timeout here. They have one timeout left. We'll try to make the most of this red zone opportunity to add some points before we reach the half. First and goal. Ball on the six yard line. Is that all you got? Stick up! Pressure, throwing a strike to the end zone. Touchdown, Denver. And he's able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of him so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. Elam comes in for the extra point. The kick is up, and he kicks on the extra point. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. Number four will be kicking off. Up for the kickoff. Number 81. Back and this one's a short kickoff. From the 12 yard line. An interception brought the last drive to an abrupt end. They'll do a better job, I think, of protecting the ball this time around. And now they have a fresh set of downs to work with as they try to get some points before the half. Stewart sets up. Passing on first down. And he's brought down in the backfield. Good pressure leading to the sack. Not many quarterbacks are able to escape when he's coming after you. When he breaks free or he comes in clean, he can really do some damage in the backfield. Following the sack, it's second and long. Let's go, come on. Come on, D up. They'll go with the second quarter defense. Ball on the 26-yard line. Hut. Hut. With the pass. Ooh, nearly picked off. He couldn't come up with the interception. Yeah, I think everyone else was thinking the same thing. And you don't get a better chance at an interception than he had right there. Only one man back. Ball on the 26-yard line. Man in motion. He hands it off. Denver calls a timeout. That's their final timeout. Just a little time left before the half, and they'll punt it. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the punt. Fair catch called for. There was no need to try and return that one. But he made the right decision there. Sometimes you want to get a score before the half. But when you're leading in a game like this, you don't want to do anything risky. So you just run the ball and start getting ready for the second half. They line up in the I formation. Maybe a yard on that counter play. No more. One yard gain on the play. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Denver 17. Chicago 7. Welcome back as we get the second half underway.
Here's the kickoff team. We'll be kicking off to start the second half. And a short kickoff. From the 13-yard line. Denver is looking to extend its advantage as they take over again offensively. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 26. Portis is the deep back. Burlon sends a man in motion. Throwing on first down. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. Holdman displayed excellent anticipation. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Tosses it right. Not much on that pitch. With the carry, one yard gain on the play. Chicago lines up with seven guys in the secondary. Seven yard line. Throws it. Steam rolls the defender. They'll move the chains with that completion. Yeah, that was a great recognition by the quarterback. Knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. Let's check in with Melissa. Well, Al, the Bears coach told me that his defense needs to play a lot better here in the second half, especially against the run. Look for them to stack the line with defenders as they try to slow down this running attack in the second half. Al? Thank you. That was Melissa Stark with the update from the sideline. Crosses it left. Loose ball. The Broncos. And that ball just squirted right out of his hands. He never had a good handle on that thing. A lot of guys would wear gloves to help them hold on to the ball. But even if you do, you still got to wrap it up and protect it. You're going to see a lot of balls popping out like that. Fifth play of this drive. Dropping back. Under pressure with the throw. It's his receiver in stride. The move the sticks for that completion. I'll tell you, he put that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. Caffrey never seems to go down on the first hit as we take a look at his rushing total and yards after contact. First and ten. Ball on the he gets the carry. Fakes the hand. Throwing short to his left. The blocking broke down on that play, allowing the defender to get to the quarterback as he was releasing the ball. He took a pretty big shot at the end of that play. They've been working on his timing at practice. Three and five step drops that are designed to get the ball out of there quickly. He still has to try and get it out a little sooner, so he doesn't have to take too many hits. Closing in with the pass. Incomplete. Good job finding some room. I thought he was going to bring that one in. No receiver's perfect, so you'll even see the best ones drop a few. But the key word is a few. Five wide receivers. Ball on the 42-yard line. The rush is on. With the throw. Right on the mark there to move the chains. And the thing is, the secondary looked a little on their heels on that one. They just couldn't converge on the ball in time, and now they get a whole new set of down. Throwing on first down. Stepping up, he's rid of it. He hits his receiver. He might have rushed that pass a little bit, but he's happy with the result. Yeah, I'd say defense was blitzing, so he knew that he had to get it out of there pretty quickly. He did that, connecting with his man for a pretty good pickup. Tenth play of this drive. Burline sends a man in motion. Dropping back. Pressure gets the pass off. Picks him in strong. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chain.
and they find themselves in scoring range. First and ten. Ball on the 13 yard line. Drops back with the throw. Picked off. A lot of room to work with. Two to the 20. And the defense comes up with a big interception. I'll tell you, when you get down there in the red zone, you really have to take care of the ball and at least give yourself a chance to come away with some kind of points. If you throw a pick on top of not getting any points, you give the ball right back to their offense. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Stewart gets set. Terrell, the motion man. Get in there. Stop it. He goes down at the 38-yard line. A fresh set of downs after a nice pickup on the ground. Hey, nice job up front. Holding their block and allowing him to get a good run for a first down. Only one man back. Ball on the 38-yard line. Stewart sends a man in motion. Again. Thomas was stuffed on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. And they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunity. They'll go from the I formation. Ball on the 39. Cross play to the left. Loss of about one. Coming, slings this one. He's short of the first. That kind of thing always makes me shake my head. What was the guy thinking? A short pass reception like that will never get you the yardage you need to move past the first down marker. O'Neill sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the kick. Fair catch. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closed in for a big hit. Crosses it out to the right. Lost about a yard. Two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. Rosen, match made on the run. And a move the change, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. All right, so they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 30. Man in motion. Ball on the 30-yard line. They'll pass on first down. Under pressure with the throw. Incomplete. Second down upcoming after that incomplete pass. He tucks it away. They'll go with a play fake. Gets rid of it. Perfect pass. Not a whole lot on that one. That's what bringing a blitz will do. It'll force you to make the throw before you want to. They're just lucky he didn't throw it to the other team. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. So they've dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. 
They've executed very well on third down so far, and that's a big reason why they're ahead at the moment. With the pass, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Broncos. A remarkable touchdown play. Yeah, everything seemed to go right on that one. The quarterback had a good pass, the receiver ran the right route, and the defense didn't seem to have any idea what was going on. Elam comes in to attempt the point after. And it's up. The point after is good. Now they've put it together offensively with 14 unanswered points. They can do this sort of thing. Everyone gets on the same page, and they'll put up points in bunches. A good-looking drive, and they score the touchdown. And the offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. The more touchdown drives, the better. Now they'll go back to the sidelines and see why they were able to beat the defense for six. And they'll try and repeat those results the next time they get the ball. Number four. He's just about ready to kick this one away. Short kick off. From the 15. So the offense takes over, still trying to figure out this defense. The quarterback First gets set with only one back behind him. On the -yard line. Set. Got Stay up. Got Pass play here on first down. He was drilled as he threw. They got pressure that time, and the quarterback pays the price. This defense really likes to keep the pressure on the passer. They bull rush, they speed rush, they blitz from the outside all in an attempt to create turnover opportunities in the secondary. The offensive line needs to do a better job of holding on their block, giving a little extra time in the pocket that the quarterback needs. Great play there by Terrell. You're talking about making it look easy out there. He caught that, and he made it look very easy. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Stewart gets set. Thomas. Eight-yard game. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Second and three. Ball on the 30-yard line. Rowing. And it's complete. Good play by the quarterback to get it to the guy so quickly. Every coach wants a receiver like this guy on his team. He always gets open when you need it, and he makes the clutch catches. First and ten. Good gain of about seven on that play. Seven yard gain on the play. The backs are lined up in an eye. With the pass, incomplete. Looking for the end zone on second down, but no completion, and it's third down. It's third down with three to go. Stewart with a man in motion. Closing in, throws it, incomplete pass. John, perfect play for him, but the receiver had the pass go right through his hands. He did a good job beating his cover, and the quarterback found him with a pass. He just couldn't get it under control. This is a situation where they just have to go for it. Pressure gets rid of it. The catch breaks free. I'll tell you, this has to be frustrating. Watch here. 
as it's a great situation for the defense. They think they've got him, and they're about to get the ball back. Then all of a sudden, he drops back the pass, and boom, they're moving the chains, and they're getting a whole new set of downs. So it's first and goal. Ball one and a half yards out. He tucks it away. Pressure coming. No catch. He was out of bounds. As a quarterback, you're supposed to put the ball where only the receiver can get it. I think somebody should have told him that he also needs to keep it in bounds. Second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. Stay guys. Stay in. Hand off to the tailback. Touchdown, Bears. Now this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points on the board. They'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. Well, you can't ask for much more out of a drive that gets you into the end zone. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. Not enough time to try to get the ball back, so the onside kick is the call. Here's the onside kick. They don't get it. The Broncos will start this drive from 46. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. The back picks up about two on that carry. The Broncos using motion. Hands it off to the back. Breaks free of the defender. Can't bring him down. About a two-yard gain here. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Off to the tailback. <laughs> Chicago will call a timeout here. They have two remaining. Four yard gain there. Gain of four on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 18 yard line. Fifth play of this drive. Again, he'll get the call. The Bears call a timeout. They have one timeout remaining. So as the game winds down, we'll see the place kicker. Healing will come in looking to try the field goal. And it's up. 
A nice kick, and it's good. Another successful field goal try gives him his second three-pointer of the game. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Number 81, back deep to return. Decent kick, we should have a return. From the 10. The 30, the 40. They'll start near midfield following the returns. Now they only have 20 yards to go or so to get into scoring range. When you start your drive with a short field in front of you, it makes putting points on the board a whole heck of a lot easier. First and ten. Going to the air on first down. The quarterback packed it in and decided to scramble. Making sure the other team respects the run when the ball is in the quarterback's hands is important. You want to make sure that he doesn't try and do it too much though and get injured on the play. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. They want to hurry it up here. Under pressure, flings it to the outside. He can't complete that short pass, and it's second down. It's second down and 10 to go. This one falls incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up third down. When you're down by this much, the offense doesn't want to be facing too many third and fourth down, because that means they're taking too much time. They should be getting first for every one or two downs if they want to have a chance at this thing. Dropping back. A lot of space in front of him. He leaves at the point. And it looks like they're going to go with a no huddle. Pass on first down. Looks to the end zone. This pass is incomplete. Looking for the touchdown on first down, but couldn't get it to his target. They're going to make the quarterback keep throwing because it's the only way that they have a shot at coming back. Down inside the 15. Seventh play of this drive. Gets rid of it. Perfect throw. Touchdown, Chicago. What a catch in the end zone. That's a guy you better keep an eye on down there in the red zone. He has a knack for finding ways to get open when there's a lot of traffic. Edinger comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. And they'll try the onside kick here because they don't have much of a choice. They have to get the ball back. Onside kick. Denver recovers it. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. The defense has a timeout left, but it won't help them. Kneel downs can end the game, running out the clock. Ball on the 46-yard line. Man, go, go. Run, run. Let's go, Chicago will call a timeout here. They have none remaining. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. Second and long. Ball on the 48-yard line. Come on, D up. 
Berwan gets set. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Ball on the 50-yard line. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. The final score is Denver 27, Chicago 21. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Smith had himself a big game and is our horse trailer player of the game.